Welcome to this new video by Simply Learn. We are here back today with another interesting topic in project management which is project life cycle. But before we begin, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. Before we begin learning about project life cycle, let me give you a small insight about how project managers are the major requirement of the industry. Project managers are responsible to plan and develop the complete project idea. They create the team as of the project requirement and lead the team. Monitor project progress, deliverables and deadlines, manage project costs, check project performance and more. Thus, in any domain for any project, there is a requirement of a project manager. A project manager earns on an average 13 lakhs annually in India. However, in US, the average salary is reported as $87,000 per year. On life cycle. Project life cycle involves four important phases, namely initiation, planning, execution and closure. Few project managers also involves an additional phase called monitoring and control as per the project requirements. All the phases are the part of Project Management Institutes, PMIs, Project Management Body of Knowledge, PMBOK, and is commonly associated with Project Management Certification. The current PMBOK version 7 is necessary to complete PMP certification. Moving ahead in this video, we are going to dive deep into these five phases of project life cycles. So let's not delay, we will start with the first phase that is initiation phase. Initiation phase is the first phase in the project life cycle. During initiation phase, the project's objectives, scope, stakeholders and overall feasibilities are identified and assessed. Activities like project charter, stakeholder identification, initial scope definition, feasibility analysis, high level risk assessment, project management assignment, budget estimates, communication plan and initial schedule revolve around these objectives. Next phase we have is planning phase. The planning phase follows project initiation and involves detailed preparation. In this phase, a project manager creates a detailed project roadmap. It includes defining the project scope, project constraint, creating schedules, allocating resources and budget, identifying and managing risk, setting quality standards, and establishing stakeholder engagement plans. The outcome is comprehensive project plan that guides execution, ensures effective resource use, and minimizes uncertainties. Moving towards the third phase, which is execution phase. In the execution phase, all the project plan done in the initiation and planning phase are put into action. Going in depth with an execution phase involves work implementation, resource management, quality check and risk management going hand in hand with the allotted budget. Moving towards the fourth phase, which is monitoring and control phase. Monitoring and control may or may not be involved in all projects by project managers. This phase involves the process of reviewing the process implementation, tracking the project performance, managing changes, managing scope and cost of the project fall under monitoring and control phase. Now coming to the last phase, which is closure phase. The goal of closure phase is to validate the achievement of project deliverables to meet the project sponsor's approval. Additionally, it involves conveying the final outcome and project status to all the participants and stakeholders. Subscribe to Simply Learn to never miss any updates on PMP videos from us. If you have any questions, add it in the comment sections and our experts will be happy to answer. Thanks for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.